with the intention of showing a hacker how to do more damage or a non-hacker to learn how to be a bad hacker. That's not the idea. Most likely I would like to teach you how to be an ITS and, and become part of our community of ITSs. Uh, but we have to give some examples because if we don't give examples, you will think like, well, you're saying all that, but you haven't proved to me that it is doable. So I will give some examples, simple examples, and, and I hope they don't do more damage than what I'm trying to achieve by not doing damage. But remember, I'm not saying nothing here, that it is a mystery. This is all real. This has all been out there. You sit down in Google and you type whatever and you'll find whatever. So I'm not saying nothing that would be like co compromise somebody or compromise any infrastructure. The truth is, if anything that I say can compromise your infrastructure, you should get an ITS and let them help you out. Because what I'm saying is like the basics that should not be happening in your company. So let's go back. We're saying about attacks. So what are attacks? We got to define this word because this word, you're going to be hearing it a lot. If you're in the community of, of computers and you're in the business of having networks and having computers and all it has to do with it. Okay, what is an attack? Attacks are means or ways that the hackers or crackers use to achieve their goals. Hmm, interesting. Uh, and how does this work? Well, it's not like they're gonna send you a missile and they're gonna blow up your equipment. No, attack is Okay, I want to hack into a network. What is going to be my organized way to do so? So, they develop these attack procedures. And, well, let's start giving examples. Uh, let's say they want to do an attack in your system. And, and they want to figure out a good way of doing so. So they first got to do a plan. Uh, and let's, let's do one simple attack without giving too much information out. Let's say, okay, let's do a simple one. Okay, I want to hack in your database. And I am a simple user in your infrastructure. So I'm a user in your infrastructure. Because remember, when you talk about attacks, you have two things. You have an attack and you got to see what do you want to attack. Because it's not attacking for the pure fun of attacking. It is, that's stupid. This would not happen. You know, is when I attack, I have to know who do I attack, why, and what am I looking for. You know what? I'm gonna give you a simple, a simple, a simple analogy for this. You know, I was a couple of months ago. I was in a training of Exchange of Microsoft, and I was with a couple of colleagues, and we were talking about uh, this movie that came out was called Die Hard, uh, the new one, and and we were discussing the movie. You know, and this is a great example of attacks because when we were talking about the movie. Uh, everybody started saying, you know, that I saw this, I saw that. And I made the comment, I said, you know, for me, everything that I saw in that movie is totally possible. Most likely, I think that the movie was made to put people aware of how easy it is to do short amounts of those attacks that they just show us there. One of the guys, you know, like always, when you're a lot of colleagues, everybody has their own opinion. You know, that's why I always say that this person thinks this and that person thinks that, that doesn't mean that this one knows more or this one knows less. They're just two type of professionals that have different point of views, you know. And it is your job to buy the point of view of whoever professional you are dealing with. So, I remember that I said, you know, I said that and, and he said, oh, you know, it sounds good. But I didn't believe all that movie, you know. For me, it was more science fiction. And I was like, science fiction? Like, like what part of the movie was science fiction? Because everything that I saw there is like doable. It's like, what did you saw? And he said, well, you know, you know, I don't know, but I didn't believe much of that part. You know, for example, and he came with an example. You remember the cameras part? He was going into all these buildings and seeing the cameras of those buildings. You know that's not possible. And I'm like, what? 
What you mean it's not possible? Of course it is. I don't know what are your skills within the industry. Because remember, like I just told you, not everybody knows everything about everything. So, but I don't know what are your skills within the industry. But that's totally possible. Give you an example. And I started explaining him like this, you know. I bet you. And I could be certainly certain. Because I'm not confused on this. Because I have implemented. You know, that... From a hundred percent of the companies out there, they have security cameras infrastructure installed. They're using DVRs working with IPs. And I can guarantee you, and remember that I told you that the problem of the industry is the IPs. I can guarantee you, is this, that a 90%, maybe an 80, but I don't think it's less than that. Because nobody's gonna be using analog, analog cameras no more, so are going to be using IP cameras. And if they are, any building that you can manage to, and if it has an IP, it's going to be connected to a network. And if it's connected to a network, it's going to be connected to the internet. And if it is connected to the internet, it's hackable. So if you get any of these cameras, if you manage to get the IP of any of these buildings and you just hack into that building to the IP, all you got to do is type in the IP of that console, of that camera, of that DVR, and you're already on the DVR. Okay, you're gonna tell me, well, that you don't be science fiction here. How can you do? It's pretty simple, you know. You get any tool, you could get a zillion of them from the internet. Tools that what they do is they just scan all the IPs within your infrastructure. Most likely, that camera DVR would have a name that will say DVR whatever cam whatever you already figure out that's the camera IP once you got the IP of that camera all you got to figure out now is what is the brand of that DVR and you just go to the website of that DVR and you get the client because they give them to you for free and you just put it on your computer now you connect it from there to there and then you're gonna tell me okay well that's great that's great but wait you know you're just saying that I could get into it and, and all that, you know, they did that in a couple of seconds. Well, that part I can accept is Hollywood. You know, they maybe did it fast, but they have to, you know, it's a movie. They can't take like three hours to do so, you know. And anyway, remember, we are assuming that it was a one person attack. They had a whole squad of people in there that they could have been helping him. One getting the one getting the other thing, one hacking into the network. So when the conglomerate of all these peoples get there to do the end attack, you know, the attack is doable and is doable in a manageable time. So, so I just explain you, it is doable, you know, and we could go into more details, but I don't think the time will manage to, to, to serve for more information, but it's doable. And he goes, well, you know what, you just say, it could be true. I, I could buy that, but, but, but I don't buy the other part. Go, what is the other part? Well, you see these little cameras? These these are the, the connected style cameras. Just most likely use them for the webcam and all that. Oh, well, he goes, but I don't believe that he went into webcams also. And he got control of those webcams. Come on. Those most likely are not IP cams. They are USB cams. Come on. He can't do it. How could he get control? So, of course he could simple all he had to do was get into the network find the IP of the computer that had the camera once he finds the computer he finds the camera all he has to do is get remote control of that computer turn the camera on and he's seeing the camera you know it is doable yeah oh well you got to get into the network well for that it is different layers of attacks remember one attack is just getting in the infrastructure that by himself is an attack trying to get in the infrastructure remember you have layers it's not like this is not it is done right the thing is you know people already know the layers and know to figure out how to do things but you have different layers the first thing you got to do is pass the first layer and what is that first layer you got to get in the network you want to get it within the IP. You want to get in within the media. Once you do that, 